Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials. I've been getting a lot of questions about how to delete a page in Microsoft Word. Well, Microsoft Word is actually a free-flowing document file. As such, it does not have pages. More accurately, when you add or delete information, unless you have manually inserted a page break, the other information in your document will expand to accommodate the inserted information or it will collapse when you remove information. I'll show you this in just a minute. In this tutorial, we will cover how to delete blocks of information, how to manually insert page breaks, how to delete an entire page's worth of information between page breaks, and how to delete your manually inserted page breaks. Let's get started. I have on screen here a copy of some organizational bylaws. It runs to about 13 pages, so it ought to be adequate for our demonstration. The first thing we need to do is change the visibility of the page breaks. Now a page break is a formatting character and normally formatting characters are not visible and the page break you only see it as a new page in the document. However without page breaks being shown you won't be able to tell whether that's a manually inserted page break or simply a page break that shows up because you had enough information to flow to a new page. To turn on the visibility of formatting characters there's two ways to do this. The first way to do it is on the ribbon bar. Let's go up to the ribbon bar and click on the home tab and go over about to the middle of the screen you'll see the paragraph symbol it looks like a backwards P. Click on that and all of the formatting characters that are normally invisible become visible. You'll notice here we have paragraph symbols at the end of the paragraphs. We have little arrows that indicate tab marks and in between each word You'll see there are dots. Those dots indicate spaces. If you click the paragraph symbol in the ribbon bar when they're showing, it will turn them off. Personally, I prefer to use the keyboard shortcut. The keyboard shortcut to show your formatting characters is Control Shift 8. I'll do that now. Control Shift 8 turns them on. If they're on, Control Shift 8 turns them off. I'm going to turn them on and leave them on for right now. Another thing we need to look at, and this is not deleting a page break, but it's taking a look at a page break and the white space between one page and the next. You'll notice we have a line here between the two pages. That's because we have collapsed the white space between pages. If you hover your cursor over that line, you'll notice you get a tooltip that says double click to show the white space. I'll do that now. And notice we now have the footer of one page. We have a very obvious page break. We have the header of the next page. And then we have the continuation of the text on that page. Just as before, it is a toggle. You hover your cursor until you get that little symbol. Double click it. And the white space goes away. I'm going to leave the white space collapsed for now because it makes it easier to see. To delete a block of text, it doesn't matter whether it spans a page break or not. Just click and drag the text that you want to delete and press your delete key. That deletes a block of text. You'll notice in this case it had to be a system generated page break simply because the text we deleted disappeared and the text below it flowed up over the page to fill in the space where the deleted text used to be. Let's press control Z to get that text back and let's scroll down a little bit and insert a manual page break. Now just as with toggling the visibility of formatting symbols, inserting a manual page break, you have two different ways you can do it. The first way is up on the ribbon bar. Now wherever your cursor is when you insert a page break, that's where the page break is going to go. So I'm going to put my cursor right here on this paragraph marker and I'm going to go up to the ribbon bar and click on the insert tab because we want to insert a page break and right here where it says page breaks I'm going to click and you'll notice a page break appeared right there in the text where I had my cursor. You'll notice that because we have formatting symbols turned on we can now see this dotted line with page break in the middle of it that shows we have a page break in that location. If I toggle the formatting symbol visibility to off you cannot see the page break. That's why we toggle it on so we can see it. Now to insert a page break manually using a keyboard shortcut. Again, you have to put your cursor where you want your page break to go. Let's put it right there at the end of this paragraph and simply press Control Enter. You'll see we now have two manual page breaks. If you want to delete an entire page, 
and you have manual page breaks, all you have to do is drag to select everything that you want to delete, including the page break, and press the delete key, and presto, that entire page is gone. I'm going to press Control Z to get it back because I want to show you now how to delete a page break. This is probably the simplest thing in this whole tutorial. Put your cursor at the beginning of the page break and press the delete key. The page break is gone. Put the cursor at the beginning of the page break, press the delete key, and the cursor is gone. Well, I hope this helps you understand a lot better about how to handle page breaks in Microsoft Word. We'll have some more tutorials coming up that hopefully will help you learn a lot more about this. We'll see you then. Take care, everybody.